I want to welcome you back to Black Psych. And tonight, we're going to talk about Monique being attacked for putting this woman's outfit on at the airport. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also, comment on this video. Monique made a post on Instagram showing this lady with a bonnet and this outfit on that you see at the airport. In her post, she said, hey, beautiful queens, there's no shaming. If this is the best you can do, no judgment, do you? This is what was sent to me as an example of what we're talking about that goes on in our community. However, if this is not your best, then do better. Being that ultimately, the decision is either yours. I love you for real. This is absolutely disgusting. If you got enough money to pay for a ticket, you got enough money to put on better clothes when traveling somewhere within or without America. This is what Monique was saying. We have to do our best, but no, Monique is being attacked for showing this woman in her outfit. It's people out there saying that Monique shouldn't judge or no one should judge. We have a group of black people out here and black women who feel as though you can't say anything about them. They can dress whatever they want to do. They can jump on cars and twerk wherever they want to. They can smoke weed whenever they want to. And we should not say anything about what young people are doing in this country. Monique is teaching these young ladies the way you dress and the way you look is an example of how you are when America looks at you. At one time, black women used to dress their best because there used to be images of black women being a whore or being slutty. So black women presented themselves as above other women. If you look at old pictures from Harlem or old pictures from Chicago, you would always see a woman dress professionally, dress appropriately. But nowadays, a woman can go to an airport with a bonnet on, some lingerie on, and her ass is sticking out. And that's supposed to be okay. That's supposed to be you shouldn't say a damn thing. This is why you have parents. This is why you have elders to tell you right from wrong. And if Monique as an elder can't say anything to you, this is why you see these young women running wild across America. For the simple fact is no one is there to correct them. A man sure enough can't correct them. So if a woman like Monique, this is why you don't even see people like Oprah and other women who happen, happen to be elders in our community even talk to these young ladies because they have such an attitude problem. How dare you tell me how to act? How dare you tell me how to dress? It's such an attitude. Then these same women wonder why they can't get a decent man to be a husband to them or a boyfriend. This is unacceptable. But this is supposed to be acceptable for the simple fact that no one should be able to say a damn thing to this woman. Someone sent a picture because there's plenty of women across this country who happen to be from African descent who are disgusted at what they're seeing. We're going to the lowest frequency when it comes to being who we are in this country, if it's male or female. You see a woman like this dress going to the airport. You see young men walking around with their damn pants damn near down by their ankles. They showing their underwear to the public and they think that is actually acceptable. Somewhere somebody is going to give them a job or someone is going to promote them in society unless you a damn rapper. That you can actually dress that way and be respected 
within a decent society. Why can't we conduct ourselves and show the best of our people? That's what Monique is saying. No, Monique is not perfect. None of us are perfect. But to go to the airport looking like that? And people are supposed to not say a damn thing? When you out of line? It's just like when you go to a store or you out at an event and one of these sisters go off on somebody. No one is supposed to correct or say, sister, that's wrong. You know, this ain't the time and the place. If you want to make a complaint, you call them up, make a complaint at the office, the head office, speak to a manager and speak to them kindly and say, hey, we have a problem right here. But this shit is a problem. You see it everywhere. You see mothers going to schools, talking to administrators looking like this, standing at the corner with bonnets on and a damn a robe on and some damn flip-flops on or house shoes on and this is considered normal our community is supposed to accept this older people are supposed to turn a blind eye to what they're seeing people look at us like we a bunch of damn savages this shit don't make no sense I'm surprised they ain't throw her ass out of the airport for lewdness, but they too damn scared to do that because they gonna be charged with racism. She, she, she got on a plane like this and put her ass on a seat. Can you imagine what people were saying on a the plane? They said, look at this, you can't make this shit up. You, you can't make it up. But the abnormal has become normal in our community. That what this sister is doing is okay with a certain subculture in our community. No, you can't judge. Well, let me tell you something. Way back when, Jim Crow, segregation, coming out of, se women, even if they had one or two dresses, look their finest and look respectable they didn't have all the money that we have today they didn't have all the resources we had today but one thing they did they looked like women and all Monique is demanding is saying have self respect for yourself then have set um, respect for your community because you don't have to look this way. You can do better. And this has nothing to do with shame. This is like, this is all, this ain't all she got. And y'all know this ain't all she got. For all them people attacking Monique, trying to cancel her. If you got, like I said earlier, money for a plane ticket, you got money to put clothes on your ass. This is like someone sticking a middle finger up in your face, saying, I'll do what the hell I want, and I don't give a damn if none of y'all like it. This is supposed to be cute. This is supposed to attract a man. This is supposed to be what's cool today. This is disgusting. And many of you who look at this damn video know it's disgusting. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.